tornadoes. They are some of the most stunning and fear-inducing types of weather on the planet. In the U.S., about 1,200 touchdown per year. And while tornadoes can happen in many other spots around the world, the geography and weather in the central U.S. makes tornadoes more common than other spots on the planet. And their access there to warm, moist Gulf air, plus cold intrusions from the north, as well as some dry air, it all comes into the mix. But how do tornadoes form? Well, there's a lot of still some mystery about that, but we know the basic science of it. Basically, what you need is first the right environment for tornadoes to develop, and that involves some factor of wind shear too. So you can see you might have cold air aloft streaming one way, warm air below it streaming another way. Basically, that difference in the direction and sometimes the difference in speed all play a role in helping to create some sort of rotation in the atmosphere. Oftentimes, Times it starts as horizontal rotation, as you can see here, that tube spy rolling up, showing you the horizontal direction. But then let's just throw a thunderstorm into the mix. And we know thunderstorms, they have updrafts and downdrafts, so they have a lot of rising and sinking motion. And this is how we get that rotation to become vertical. And that is what helps the tornado form then and why we can deal with these types of storms. Obviously, there are different, many different strengths of tornadoes, also different types of tornadoes that can develop, but they do produce very stunning images there. As far as tornadoes are concerned, usually we assess the strength of the storm after the fact, so we base it on wind speed, but it's assessed by the damage that it creates. If it comes through an open field, sometimes we have to classify it as an EF unknown because we can't identify the damage associated with that storm that might have been viewed by, for example, Storm Chaser.